So, over the last couple of months, I've been sewing some armor, and I'd like to show you how it turned out. I am genuinely so happy with how this whole thing worked. Uh, this started from me seeing a pattern and I went, huh, oh, I could do that. And then I went, for the shoulders, uh, then I went, oh, I could just keep going. <laughs> and I did. Uh, and this is... I am so completely delighted with how this whole thing came from my head. Pretty much all of it came from my head and turned into something that looks honestly like so legit. Um, I've not made anything quite like this before. Uh, I've not really made straight up like, cos like cosplay costume stuff before. Uh, and while this is not necessarily a specific character, I'm just gonna say this is a Dark Brotherhood assassin from the game The Elder Scrolls Online. If I need to uh, classify this as a particular costume, mainly because the hood, and if I wear a mask with a mask cover, then it actually looks like really close. So I'm just gonna say that's, <laughs> that's where this is from. Fine. I just wanted to make some cool armor. Um, so, uh, materials. Let's evaluate, right? Okay, so materials were what I had in my stash, and I bought some plastic placemats from uh, a shop. And I think that's mostly that's mostly it. I bought the belts uh, mainly for the buckles, and then everything, all of the everything else I owned. Pretty much. Um, so I already had the material for the pauldrons and I made the pattern myself, inspired by one I saw on the internet. Um, if you want to see any of the details for any of the pieces that I'm wearing, please do see all of the previous videos in this series because that's all of the making. Um, the hood inspired uh, just using an old skirt uh, and inspired by one I saw Morgan Donna make. Uh, the neck piece, all mine, inspired by the plastic placemat, <laughs> as you do. Um, the arm braces, like just that was my idea. Uh, I just kind of whipped that up to match the rest of it. Uh, the plastic rectangular placemats turning into the armor, so good. Um, converting my existing corset so it actually fits properly and is comfortable to wear and can act as a foundation for this outfit, possibly others. Um, it's Elizabethan style, <laughs> let's call it. Uh, that worked really well. Um, the little quick and dirty like uh, dagger and um, belt pack that I needed for wearing this to an actual party, which I didn't think would happen. Also, very, very pleased. Um, 
This is still Miss Icy's dagger, so I still need to make my own at some point. But it feels like the natural evolution of this project is done. Oh, and the actual kind of the the kind of armor, the armored skirt part of the chest armor as well. Well, separate. Uh, that that also worked beautifully. Overall, I am so delighted with how the whole thing has come together. Uh, the one extra bit that I did actually have to pay money for is the skirt, um, which. Uh, I'll link separately. It's not actually part of this series of videos. However, I knew that it would actually also make a great foundation for it. And of course, the Elizabethan walking skirt, which was meant to be the original foundation skirt. Have no fear. That one will be part of a different project. Um, so I'm really so happy with how the whole thing came together. Uh, I extended my skills. Um, I built on what I already knew. I was really creative. I had a whole heap of super cool ideas in my head that I was able to translate into three dimensions. Um, well, into two dimensions, back into three dimensions, actually. And that all worked. It all worked really, really well. Would I change anything about this lot? Um, so, uh, in the meantime, I've edged uh, this because these bits were breaking. Completely obvious, should have done in that in the first place. I've also got a pair of little um, separate, so I don't need to wear the whole thing, a little pair of separate cuffs out of this kind of uh, decorative placemat sort of thing. They needed edging as well. Uh, that way, if I want to wear like a simpler version of the um, costume, I could still do that. Uh, what else would I change? I would change, actually, no, the skirt fastening previously was way, like sorry, the, the overskirt, the armored overskirt was way too bulky. Um, and I ripped something, uh, which means that it's actually now sitting flat, flat-ish <laughs> at the front, so that's fine. Uh, the fastening for the sort of over corset, armored corset, not the best. It's, it'll do, basically. I think, I think this will, we'll see how it goes. I think it's sufficient. It's not too tight. I don't think there's too much tension on it. This is the one thing I'm actually concerned about. It looks relatively smooth, but yeah, this is, this is where I'm concerned that things might break or something else happening. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, I still, and I mentioned this in the previous videos, I still want to make my own belts, I think, just because you can see these are, you know, flat belts, not script belts, so they sit a little oddly here. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think I've reached the natural evolution of this project and I think it's done. Um, was there anything I bought that I didn't use? Uh, there was a round wooden placemat that I was going to use to make a little mini shield, uh, which I didn't use. Might do that later. There was a, I think it cost three dollars, uh, there was a three dollar um, garden light that was going to be the top of a magic staff. Maybe that gets turned into something later on as well. Uh, there were two more placemats, the black ones that I bought later, um, which I forgot about <laughs> and didn't use either. However, that's actually good uh, because that leaves me enough that, for example, if I don't have to, if I want to make a new dagger, which I do because I want to make my own, I don't have to keep it at this size with this sheath. I can actually make my own or even make a sword, which would be cool. So I do actually now have enough other stuff that I could do that, or I could use that stuff to make a belt. That's an option as well. I do have some more of these uh, bits. I think I've got one more complete and a selection of bits of these placemats. So, and I bought um, a plastic table runner thing, which was originally the idea would it'd be like a, a waistband, waist wrap thing, and that didn't get used at all. So uh, what I'm gonna do with that, I'm not sure. That's a very odd piece. Um, sort of like a woven thing. I, I don't quite know what I'll make with that later. So, um, but yeah, did I waste anything? 
I don't want to say I wasted. I bought a couple of things that I haven't used for the project. Mostly they were very cheap and I will use them later on. So I don't think I, I don't feel like I bought stuff and then didn't use it. So, uh, overall, I want to say this was an extremely successful project and I'm so happy. Um, yeah, really, really, really happy. So uh, I do have um, another project, like a bigger frame project framework in mind. Uh, it won't be, um, it's going to, it will be more historic, uh, historical, historic, historic, something. Anyway, uh, yeah, so do look for Nitz Elizabethan, uh, no. Wrong, <laughs> wrong era. Victorian, Victorian slash Edwardian. The next project, the next series of things I'll make will be in that time era. Uh, though it's likely I'll take another modern step sideways because I do want to make, to match this skirt, well, to match the magic check side, uh, I do want to make a few other bits to go with this as well. So like a vest and a few other bits and pieces to out of the rest of the material I bought for that as well. So there's kind of like maybe two parallel projects that could, will be happening on this channel for the next while. So if you've liked this, let me know. Tell me in the comments what projects you're working on because I'd like to know that as well. Uh, give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, that would be very appreciated. Uh, please sub here on YouTube if you haven't. Also appreciated. Um, and uh, you can find me in different places on Instagram and Twitter and other places in the description. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.